So that's the scene, and uh, it is set now. Sri Lanka, well, Sanat Jayasaria will be looking for some runs here, leading the side. Marvin Atapatu, Russell Arnold played well last time round. Chama Silva still in the side, the youngster, he's a good player. Mahela Jaiwadana, short of runs. I'll be hoping to uh, see him get off the mark and get moving. Ramesh Kaluvatarana plays the same no matter where he bats. Upul Chandana is uh, the leggy come all rounder, and uh, I've been very impressed with the way he manages to get on with it uh, when he gets a bat in his hand as well. Shuresh Pereira, not a bad all rounder actually, swings it out, but uh, he's got to watch the wide ones. Chamin Devas looks for a bit of uh, looks for a bit of change of pace. I think what he's got to find. Zoisa and Mutaya Murali didn't. So that's the, uh, the lineup from a Sri Lankan point of view. From India's point of view, Sachin Tendulkar is back in the lineup, and all 16 million households that will be watching this telecast in India will be looking forward to seeing him bat again today. He's out there with Ganguly. Ramesh uh, will come in at first drop playing well, actually a very attacking cricketer. Dravid keeping wicket today and expected to make runs. Kurasia there as well. Jadeja, Robin Singh played well yesterday. Nikhil Chopra and Javagal Srinath. Anil Kumbli and Prasad make up the attack. So a pretty strong Indian side. They know what they've got to do today. The number one priority is to win the match. And then they've got to win it by a bit of a margin if they're going to get through to the Iowa Cup final. Well, there's the trophy. It's up for grabs. The question is, who's going to play Australia in the final? Yes, and there's a bit of a run round, rundown of what's happened so far between these two sides. Uh, Sri Lanka have won 23, India have won 33, no result in five. So of the 61, the Indians have had uh, slightly better uh, win ratio there. But uh, I suspect in, the, in recent years, there's probably nothing in it. And uh, if I was to hazard a guess, I'd say that Sri Lanka were probably ahead. Remember, they played so well in the World Cup. And of course, they would have taken a bit of a beating a few times when they first came into One Day Internationals. So that's the uh, historical look at what's happened between these two sides. All history today is what counts. And, uh, of course, the little master is out there, Sachin Tendulkar. Can he turn it on today? He's obviously had a few uh, little back problems, a little niggle there, a bit of stiffness yesterday. But you heard what he had to say. I don't like sitting in the dressing room watching the match. And I tell you what, I can sympathise with that. What he wants to do is get out there and make some runs. Now, we did see him... Um, really benefit from a little bit of luck. Played one or two loose shots. Now, he's a, he's a perfectionist, this young man, and uh, he'll be conscious of the way he's playing. Although, one must remember this is a one-day international, and Sachin Tendulkar adjusts his game, uh, and that means taking a few risks. He has to take a few risks in one-day cricket because uh, he's going to have to get his side off to a bit of a fly here. There's not a defensive bone in his body. However, he does have an immaculate defense, and, uh, of course, if he gets going, he's ability to attack is uh, unparalleled so he's going to be fronting Chaminda Voss uh, and we did uh, mention that Chaminda's had a bit of a tough time he's not uh, doesn't seem to me to have that little bit of spring in his step these days but uh, Salia you'll know a bit more about that yes he was uh, he's been struggling with the no balls as well he's uh, short in his run up he feels he's uh, you know really picking himself up getting to the wicket he's running in harder with the shorter run up but he's really not been able to contour, control that front foot. He's been working on it. He says, uh, goes through his ritual, and uh, be looking to uh, have a better day today. Yes, the other thing about him is that he's got a fantastic work ethic. Anyone you speak to will tell you how hard this young man works. He really does, and he's a very nice guy as well. Well, wouldn't he love to get Tindulkar out here quickly? Oh, well bowled, and that one actually started to swing back and then moved away off the seam. What a ball. First delivery. There's nothing much you can do about this one. Watch it starts to swing in and then goes away off the seam. That is an outstanding delivery. Oh, well bowled again. They've asked the question. Was there a little faint nick on that one? Ten Dorcas looking up at the umpire very nervously. What a ball. Well, we've just said Chamin Devas is having a bit of a tough time. <laughs> He's come out this morning and bowled a couple of gems. Look at this ball. Pitching on the middle stump, moving away off the scene. There's no way in the world that any batsman could do anything about that. And look, he thought he had him. Was there a little noise there? If there was, it was a very gentle one. See if we can pick up anything here. Oh, no, I think it missed the outside edge. Missed the out in fact, you could see his bat there just flicking the ground, and that was the noise. So uh, just a little flick of the ground, and uh, they thought that was an outside edge. Oh, 
Oh, well bowled and uh, well played by Tendulkar as well. Lovely straight shot down the ground, back for two. Oh, he didn't look as if he was hitting that very high, but it went uh, like lightning off the bat. Well, what a start this is. Beautiful bowling from Jamin DeVos. And uh, then a lovely straight drive. Now, just let's have another look at this. Just watch the base of the bat. The ball goes past the edge. Now, watch the base of the bat. Just flicks the ground. You can see that puff of dust there. And I think that was probably the noise as it went through to the wicketkeeper. keeper. A little delayed sound. And, of course, they got very excited, mainly because it's Tendulka. All that beats the outside edge. So a sneak straight off from uh, a good delivery from Nuan Soisa. Just one slip and a gully. And the third man not being able to cut that. The ball really hitting the seam and moving away. We've been uh, taken straight by the second slip and uh, that prompts Sanat Jasri. A bit of bad feeling by Chamin Dabas there. He overran the ball, resulting in four runs. It'll be uh, Chamin Dabas to continue to uh, be bowling to Satin Chandulka. Oh, that's got to be close. That must be very close. I tell you what, I want to have another look at that. That was a very close uh, call for LBW. The ball straightening down the line. And Chamin Devos doesn't often carry on when he appeals. That was close. Was he too far forward? You watch the line of this one just swinging. Now watch this. Is this going to hit the stumps? It starts around about middle, straightens down the line. Oh, I tell you what, he's very, very lucky still to be there. That is a magnificent delivery. The umpire giving Tendulka the benefit of the doubt here. There's no way that was going over the top, was it? I don't think so. Well, it may be because he was so far forward that he gave him the benefit of the doubt. But boy. Well, there's that swing again. Good bowling. Well, let's have another look at... Uh, that uh, big shot, just watch this now, he's close to the stumps, where does it start? Starts, pitches about middle, straightens down the line, hits him below, below the roll. Well, I know a lot of umpires that would have said, that is out. Tendulka survives, a very, very close one for him, and you could see when he looked up that he was worried about it. Good bowling from Chamin Devos. Uh, Vijay Vodhana, deciding that was uh, doing a little too much. Nicely played. Will it go to the boundary? Zoiza, he gets his left hand or his left arm. And there's a lot of left arm there, I tell you. It's a long one. He managed to get it uh, get it down there. Stop that one from going for four. Nice timing. He's been really working hard on his feeling. Just clipping it off, coming back into him. And look, I'm watching that one carefully. A good uh, effort by Zoiza. He has to go really down there from makes a good stop so definitely saving two runs boss again well that's well played I don't think Zoys will get to this one beautifully played signature shot that one from Tendulka way down towards the boundary well what an over 12 for none Played again, waiting for it to come onto the bat and uh, just guiding it away wide of mid on. It was well played. Seeing Tendulka now beginning to get used to this little bit of swing, tending to stay back a little bit as opposed to planting that front foot down the pitch. Oh, and uh, the umpire's down. It's a little bit damp out there and. Uh, a throw coming in very quickly. You've got to be on your toes as an umpire these days. We saw one of them hit yesterday. Right in between, right in the middle of the chest. And down he goes. <coughs> Might have to put some spikes in those shoes. Yeah, he's uh, got rubbers on. Well played. That's running away down towards the deep square leg boundary. Will it get cut off? Oh, good effort. Very good effort down there. 
Is that Chandana? I think it is. He's a good fieldsman. In fact, this charmer of silver down there. I just thought for a second it was uh, it was Chanda. Have a look at that going in there, grass flying in all directions and managing to hold it back. That's nice, good effort. Charmer silver down on the boundary at square leg. Extra fieldsman in that onside. Now there's a leg gully as well. They uh, they're trying to get Tendulka caught in that area on the onside. Always oh, beaten the outside edge. Tendulka is in a pretty aggressive frame of mind. Well, if that one had hit the edge and got to second slip, I think Jaya Saria would have buried himself. Tendulka has been flashing at a few deliveries out to the off stump. That was really going on that one. Shamin Davas has been uh, bowling really well. Unfortunate to have been turned down. A very close LBW decision on that one. Yes, that's the line he's got to bowl. He's got to stay away from that leg stump. Oh, good shot on the up and through the offside field. This is vintage Tendulkar. A beautiful on the up drive. It went whistling through the offside field and that's brought them to their feet. And it'll give him some confidence too. Watch this. Wonderful stuff. Absolutely perfect. Just sort of eased it down towards the cover boundary. Just waited on that one on the up. And just a full flow. Yes, we mentioned before the start of play that this is a beautiful outfield. If you manage to get it into the gap and you hit it reasonably hard, it's for 16 not out from 17 balls. Two fours already. Only six scoring shots. Tendulka, last ball of the over from Voss. Nicely placed again into the gap in mid-wicket. It's running away down towards the boundary. Tendulka back for the second. Will he look for three? No, he's happy. There's nothing wrong with his back today, let me tell you. 22 for none. Soisa smashed away on the onside. That'll go for four as well. The Indians mean business today. No, no, he's pulled it back. That's good fielding. The captain himself pinned his ears back there. Really went after it. Setting a good example. Jaya Saria catching that one. That is good fielding. Ramesh taking over from Sachin Tendulkar, placing it into the gap, not really hitting it too hard. But Sanat Jayasu, a very big effort right on onto the line there. And uh, cutting the boundary off, uh, but the Indians get three there. That's well played, into the gap, running away down towards the boundary. That's lovely timing, that'll go all the way as well, another four. So Ramesh now beginning to... Uh, make a contribution as well the indians are loving it both of these batsmen have now got two fours away a delivery from uh, such as uh, from uh, time in the bus ramesh continuing placing it beautifully he waits on it perfect timing doesn't have to do much a nice wicket here ball coming on nicely to the bat Wonderful shot. Six by a long way. Uh, this is the kind of shot you don't see too often from Tendulkar. One of the rare occasions that Zoysa has pitched the ball up, at least in Tendulkar's half. And this has gone many a mile over the boundary line. He must have enjoyed that. He's got us stuck into this one. That's going off the middle of the bat. Oh, he's chipped that over. Mid on. And it's gone for four. I didn't think he made such a good contact to start with, but uh, certainly good enough. Well, Ramesh here taking a leaf out of Tendulkar's book. He decides to go over the top. Robin Jackman said he's not quite timed it, but he's got enough bat on that for the ball to reach the boundary. Hey. 
Four more. Well, India are on fire. Well, this is a very, very good shot from the left-hander. Look how late he plays it. Because of that, he gets the placement right. There is a short point, there is a backward point, there is third man, but he split the field. So 50 runs coming in pretty good time here for the Indians. 40 minutes, 55 balls, just what the doctor ordered. Bounce or lack of it that's defeated everybody there, including wicketkeeper. Well, it certainly surprised Sindulka. It foxed Kalu Vitarna as well. One bounce and pass the keeper. Just taking his eyes off the ball. And he was about to collect it. Driven through the covers, majestically, for more. Well, here's a languid grace for you. Left-handers look so elegant when they play this shot. High back lift, good follow-through, good transfer of weight. Meets the ball nicely and above all gets the placement. Oh, he got away with that. There was so much width there. Time and well fielded enough to cut that down to just one. I remember working with uh, Eric Simons, who played for Western Province and he played a little bit for South Africa. And he had a problem keeping his wrist behind the ball, and he actually ended up solving it himself by running in with the ball facing him, as it were. Instead of running in with the ball facing the ground, he turned his hand over. And he found that helped him when he when he went into his delivery. Everything, his, his hand stayed behind the ball when it came over the top. Well, he struggled in this over. Well, it's turned away by Tendulkar. It's a chase down at deep fine leg, who does well, very well. Wonderful fielding. Well, this ball was racing away from Chamra Silva. Good fielding by the young man. It's tough for a captain to set a field when the bowler is bowling on both sides of the wicket. But he's saved here by his fielder. Good sliding save. There's a chance. That's beautifully timed. What a good shot that is. Look at that. Effortless. Well, it's not an easy shot to play. Obviously is in a very good position, nice and side on, high back lift, he quite enjoyed it. Could work with the wrist there. I think I heard an outside edge and I did. So Pereira makes up for an indifferent first over by getting the first wicket out of Ramesh in his second. Yes, Ramesh will be disappointed, he was looking good. The Sri Lankans needed that. The Indians were racing away at this stage. Looking for the cover drive again. Foot's really not getting out on that occasion. In the end, he was looking to hit it on the up. The ball just moved away from the bat, up the outside edge. Kalu Vitana made no mistake. And Pereira has struck here. India have lost their first wicket. 75 runs on the board. Dravid 
1950s, 500s. Nearly 3,000 runs. Pereira, the man to provide the breakthrough for the Sri Lankans. He's on his way to drop it. And drive it off the mark straight away through mid wicket. It won't go all the way. There is a man who's had to cover about 30 or 40 meters to his left. Beautiful throw. Yes, he's one of the best young players in world cricket at the moment, Rahul Dravid. Big shout, and that is very close. He may have got an inside edge, or it may have been drifting down leg side, but I'm a little bit surprised they stifled their appeal, perhaps giving an indication there may have been a little faint edge. I think he might have hit his bat, his pad on his bat, maybe David. That's missed the bat, I reckon. I reckon he's clicked his bat. It's probably just missing leg stump. In all honesty, he's not too far away. He's, see, he's right across enough stump there. That's not all that far away. I think the double noise come from the bat hitting the pad, and that's probably filled the umpire into the, thinking it was off the bat. And Tenduka, classy shot. And very well run by Dravid. In the end, it didn't matter because of the fumble, but he really had to scoot when he turned to make sure he got the second. The fumble allowed him to stroll through, but very good running. Very classy shot by Tendulkar. And chance for runner. Should he hit? He's out and misses. So a risky run again. And some overthrows to the non-striker's end. But it may go for four overthrows. No, just stop it just in front of the uh, stump. So we'll try and work out how many runs they got for you there. Three runs will go to Dravid. Tenduka looked like Jeffrey, he would have been out. Yes, yeah, so it was looking very close here. Dravid just tried to get off strike there, straight to the man there, basically just lines it up. Well, don't know, it would have been a line ball. As it turned out, there was another shy. The bowler's end. And nobody backing it up. Nobody there at all. I was lucky it did go for four. It went for two more extras. Three from that shot for Dravid. In the air and just wide of short mid wicket. Joe Wadner there at short mid wicket. Didn't get to it. Not a chance. So Pereira a little bit unfortunate. There was nearly a run out the ball before and then. A near catch. Well, a few incidents in this over there. Tanduka just turning the wrist there just wide of Joe Wardner at a shortish mid wicket. He was in the air for a fair way, but he struck it firmly. The ball just racing away. This is a good attempt from him. Probably just went over his hands. He might have got to it, but uh, just the wrong height. And that ball racing away for four. Last ball. And clipped away towards fine leg. Just the single, Smindavas doing the fielding, and the end of the 19th over, 12 runs from the over, an expensive one, good one for India, they're 99 for one. Monday Fox Sports 2 is your total rugby league channel. From 10am, catch every pass and every try from every game as we give another chance to see all the weekend's NRL action. You won't want to miss the biggest event on the rugby calendar. The Rugby World Cup in Wales, October and November this year. Fox Sports, in conjunction with Global Sports Tours, gives you the chance to be there. Just $4,900 gives you Qantas airfares, four match tickets and a week's car rental. You'll see two semi-finals in London and the final in Wales. Tickets are limited. You must book now. Call Global Sports Tours today on 1-800-653-231. All we got to do is pretend to be people that we're not, to fool people we don't know in a situation we've never been in. We're from New York. How hard can it be? For richer or poorer, coming soon to Showtime. NFL on Fox. For the hardest, bone-crushing NFL action, keep watching Fox Sports. The wait is over. This year's season is ready to take off with an exclusive preseason game. Be sure to catch NFL legends, the all-inspiring Dallas Cowboys, taking on the Denver Broncos' current Super Bowl champions. Live and exclusive. 
preseason game. Dallas and Denver this morning at 10. Fox Sports. Just the four bowlers used, and we're about to see a rematch at some stage this over. Muir Litteran's last over to Tenduka was the best of the tournament so far. And Drava gets a single to allow the two combatants to renew their acquaintance. The best off spinner and the best batsman in battle in the commentary box is Tony Gregg and Robin Jackman. That's smashed away down to long on. Another single, four runs from the over. It's 103 for one. A lot of tenseness beginning to appear on the faces of uh, one or two of these Sri Lankans now. Upul Chandana, good temperament he's got. He's uh, a pretty useful all-rounder. And he's about to start a new spell now. The question is, can he pitch it right? It's a little difficult for, for uh, leg spinners. In the series, uh, has done pretty well. Those are his performances with the ball. 3 for 35 against Australia, good performance. 2 for 35 against India, no wicket for 10 off 1 in the first match. But uh, those uh, last two games, bowled all 10 and bowled well. Oh, and uh, that one's loose and nicely nudged away. It'll go down to the boundary. It's going to take some stopping. This is a wonderfully quick outfield. Tenduka doesn't uh, really need too much encouragement. Uh, that delivery was short and a very delicate little nudge cleverly played because short and wide a lot of players would smash that through the covers off the back foot down to the man sweeping up for one Tendulkar knows where the gap is and just helps it on its way oh, delicate again set himself for that one nudged it fine another two And the score moves on to 111 for one. Oh yes, got him. Well, that's a big breakthrough. And I mashed the man out. So Raul Dravid makes his way from the middle. He's had a disappointing series short and wide not a great delivery and really looking to give that some welly through the covers and all he manages to do is get a top edge and Kalu Itrana takes the catch Raul Dravid out for 13 from 36 deliveries and the score 112 to 2 so the new batsman uh, Sarav Ganguly striding out to the center He's out there to join uh, his captain. An average of 40. Best score of 183 against Sri Lanka at Taunton. Well, they asked the question twice there, one for LBW. And then uh, just in case that was given not out, which it was, they asked the question for the catch. If you're going to ask the question, you may as well ask it for everything. I guess one appeal stands for all, but it does help the umpire to know what you're asking for. Yes, and if you're not sure, <laughs> then the umpire can't ex be expected to know. That's one of the problems, uh, I think, these days. A little bit too much appealing. Umpires tend to you tend to lose credibility with the umpires. Well, definitely not out LBW. It's quite a long way down there, and it went straight up in the air. And no bat or glove anywhere near. So it was an optimistic shot, to say the least. That's better. There's no one there. They'll be looking for two. Will he come back? Touches down. Jackie comes now. Yes, good running. Fumble. Much better. Got to put some pressure on the field. I can't help but feel that the ball was better left to the two who were attacking it from the front, as it were, without running round it, trying to run round it. The 
other two fielders were quite close there. There's one. There's the other. Whether they would have affected the run out, of course, uh, I'm not so sure. Oh, that's a big, big hit. That's more like the Ganguly we know. Uh, these were the shots he was playing in Taunton in that World Cup game against the Sri Lankans. Good use of his feet and a good clean hit. Well, this is a bit different pitch to Taunton, but as well, Ravi, this ball spinning a lot. Just gets to the pitch of it there, hits through the line of the delivery. That clears that fence by a long, long way. Well, it was just rally. That's 10 overs ago. The first boundary, and it's also the first boundary of Muralitharan. And that's cleared the boundary by a long way, so it's a pretty sweet hit. Oh, that's delicately, delicately played. That's a no ball, too. So this is turning out to be a good over for the Indians. A six of the first ball, and a boundary on that occasion. This time it was Tendulkar. Well, just trying that little bit extra. You see that foot go over that front line. And then well played here from Tendulkar. Just rocks back, gives himself a bit of room and just tickles that down right. through the slip area. Right. Ball racing Banana. away for four. Chandana here continuing. That's edged away. Chase for Zoysa. Dulka coming back comfortably for the third. Now that's a good shot to play. When someone's bowling from the edge of the crease, you can upset the rhythm of a left arm spinner. Now I speak from experience. Oh, that's a good hit. That was hit nice and straight by Tendulkar. Well played in the end because he danced down the track. He wasn't there to the pitch of the ball. Controlled it well in the end. That's right. Down he went. He doesn't get to the pitch of this. And just watch the way he keeps his wrist, cocks it, and just hits it flat. He realized that man was a bit more left of screen. He had to hit this straight. Otherwise, it could have been trouble. Another single on the offside. Plenty of gaps in the field now. Well, that's brought up the 50 partnership as well, that single. And these two going along quite nicely. Tendukla especially. He's on 80 now. From Gooley on 20. Just 69 balls. It's been some good bowling too, you've got to keep that in mind. Now it's just starting to get away from the Sri Lanka again. And this one tickled away, the races away, another boundary. Yes, this is a very good shot. 34 gone, 166 for two. Right. He's gone down the uh, wicket of that one and smashed it away. So <laughs> Kanguli has looked, uh, well, so controlled, all of a sudden out of nowhere goes whack. And it's four. I think his eyes lit up when the full toss came. He hit it over cover. Cover jumped in the air, a token gesture. And that is a good hit. Just three or four bounces before it went over the rope. Well, well bowled. And they've asked the question for a stumping. Tendulk has not even moved not even moved and so uh, it uh, certainly would suggest to me that there's absolutely no chance but uh, the way uh, the little wee keeper carried on there Kalu you would have thought that he must have been well I tell you what I thought I saw him drag it a little bit Hooksy what do you reckon he may have lifted it as well Tony he certainly dragged it past the stumps and it's in the air there but he's just in I would have thought the umpire having a long look at it, and I think from that evidence he's going to have to rule in favour of Tendulkar, which he does. So Tendulkar stays there, it's the end of the over, and the score is 179 for two. Those are the figures so far. Zayas Red down the bottom there, no wicket for 20 or 4. Chandana bowling his last over now. Oh, and down he goes, and that smash down past the bowler. That'll go for 4-2. Yes, Ganguly has decided the time has come to start lifting this run rate.
That's a lovely shot. Yes, beautiful shot. Nice footwork getting down there. Didn't quite get it in the middle of the bat. But such a lovely bat swing that Ganguly has. Anywhere near the middle of the bat, as long as he's got his placement right, on a beautiful outfield like this, it's going to go for four. Well, uh, what they're saying is that he hit the ball into his toe. I think probably what happened is he hit it into the ground. <laughs> Murali uh, dancing around the umpire with eyes wide open. I think you'll find this goes into the ground. Well, it may have gone flush onto his toe. Tindulka's done, if that's the case, Tindulka's done more not to dance around. <laughs> it's gone from his end to the other end. You may just see the ball go straight from the bat to the toe. Ground and toe together. Nearly impossible for the umpire to give that out anyway. Well, that's going down the ground. That's going to go all the way for six. Oh, yes, a big E. Way over the top of Dipmidoff's head. The fieldsman's back there. Ganguly is the man today. He is lifting this run rate. He's doing it because India have to win this match, and uh, he really is doing it very well. He's taking the initiative, and that brings up... Well, no, it's not quite. He's now 48. 48 not out, 50 balls. You won't get a better straight drive than that. It'll be interesting to see what Tendulka does here. Yeah, we've got him playing to himself to 100 with singles and then uh, turning it on after that. So just the one, he keeps the strike. It's 200 now for two. I think they can afford now to have two batsmen going. 90 of 113. Down the ground, beautiful hit. Straight to die, all the way for six. Wonderful shot. Absolutely magnificent shot. Has he hurt his back? Well, he's just, uh, he just bent over there as he hit that one. That might be the reason why we haven't seen too many of these straight hits. You can see there that he's just bending over a little bit. Just watch him. Oh, what a shot. Beautiful shot. Oh, brilliant. And bend it down straight away, as you can see. And just what I said, he'll go through the 90s quite sedately. He's run down and gone from 90 to 96 with a terrific blow. And just may have twinged that back somewhat. He may be taking over from Gordon Greenwich, Tony, as... When he limps out to bat these days, you better start being frightened if you're the fielding side. Yes, yeah, so I, I really wasn't giving him any benefit of the doubt for his back. It never even crossed my mind, actually. I'd forgotten all about that. But uh, it may well be why he's not going for the big hits. There's clearly a problem with his back there because uh, he tried to play it. And it was obviously a, must have been a sharpish pain because he, he seemed to react almost in a fashion which would suggest it was a little bit of a a sharp pain as opposed to what he's been talking about it just simply a bit of stiffness just watch this goes there and then straight away he winces and walks away off the pitch Come on, Murray. that's Ganguly's half century well it's starting to happen now and those of you sitting in India watching this telecast I think you're going to be entertained. You're going to have some fun in the next half hour or so because we're going to see some shots played here. Come on, buddy. 50 not out in 56 balls to Ganguly. And Tendulka is going well too. 97, one run, Are takes it? him on to 98. Will he come back? No, says uh, Tendulka. So, we've had a 50 to um, Ganguly. We're about to see Tendulka get 100, and uh, the partnership of 100 has been registered. Uh, what a terrific partnership it has been for India. And if you are in India, just wait for Tendulka to get his two, then go out and get yourself a cup of tea and sit back and strap your seatbelt on because you're going to be in for some pretty entertaining cricket in the next seven or eight overs, I would imagine. Oh, he's got that one away, fine. I think he'll come back for the second. Yes, he will. And that was off the bat too, so Sachin Tendulka. Oh no, it's off the pad. Yes, it's off the pad. Everyone's cheering, including yours truly here. Yeah, I thought that it went quite quickly off the bat and uh, there's some monkey out there running onto the ground. He doesn't even realize it's a, uh, a leg by. <laughs> He's not that quick either. Two reasons why he shouldn't be out there. Number one, we like to discourage that sort of thing. Number two, he hasn't got 100 yet. It's 
straight off the thigh pad of Tendulkar. He ran quickly for two to get the strike back. He knew it was only leg buyers. That one's down to third man. They'll get themselves a single. It's also the end of the over, and Sachin Tendulkar has moved on to 99. Get away from them off the hundred. That could be it. The overthrow does it. In fact, it's gone for four as well. But we've got to wait. There's been an appeal. What drama. Kandika drives it back to the fielder. Picks it up. Suresh Perra has a go at the wicket. Gone to the third umpire. The ball has rolled down towards the boundary and gone over the fence. But really, look at the uh, lights waiting. Come the third. Well, what drama! It's either 103 or out 99. I think it's the former. Yeah. Now he's making his ground. The ball's on its way. It's very close, but the bat was down. Tendulka remains at the crease and has scored his 23rd one-day international century and his fourth against Sri Lanka. Fantastic. That's a great shot. Inside it, over extra cover. Four more. It's going to be a very testing time for the Sri Lankans with uh, Tendulkar after reaching that uh, three-figure mark. He will really break loose. He just comes and goes right through with it. With ease, gives himself the room. Just a swing of the bat right through the ball. And over the extra cover boundary for four. It's really struggling there, Robin. You see him sort of stretch his back. He's been feeling his back all the time. He's not going to get too much respite today. Bang that away through mid-wicket. Four more. Pereira taking some real punishment here. Suresh Pereira giving the uh, full toss, trying to go for the Yorker. Oh, pitching it. A nice one right into him. Tenduka just easily flicking it down towards the mid wicket for four this is Soisa whipped away back with a square four more and the square leg on the inner circle and square leg very square the fine leg in the inner circle square leg right on the uh, square boundary and Tendulkar bisects these two fielders right down to the boundary so easily places it. So it's really looking to go about 270 to 80. Slap that away, back with a square, four more. It's a sensational batting from the master. Absolute brilliance on that occasion. Just came down. The placement absolute. Just came down and played it with contempt. Right down to the boundary. Jasri are now talking to his bowler. It's not easy bowling at a guy in this sort of form and in this sort of frame of mind. onto it and the end of what has been a fantastic innings and cast one's mind back to the early part of this innings when in our opinion he survived a very confident LBW appeal on two since then he scored another hundred and what a delight it's been to watch it and look from the time he came 
Now 120 put India in a commanding position, 239 for three. AJ Jadeja, 600 to his name. Closing down on 5,000 runs. Struck down the ground straight. Long arm will cut it off. But not before they've run two. Let's clip that away into the empty spaces on the onside. They should get two and will. very hard my goodness me long off was well had to move about five to ten yards to his left had no chance whatsoever it look as if he hit it that hard but he timed it very well went right through with it and no ball to it so uh, four to Ganguly and one to extras and all the way down to the boundary so just three overs remain now Score on 2.58, one a ball, it's up to 70 yard, one a ball, that's gone miles. What a wonderful shot from Ganguly. Chami the worst experience this in Taunton. Also bringing memories back of uh, Taunton on that one, giving himself a bit of room. Getting uh, the space to uh, go right through with it. And over the long run, a huge one, right into the stand there. Lovely swing of the bat. And he's got that fine, gonna run away for four, the fine leg is up, he can't bowl there. Ten off, two balls. It was prompted, the shorter ball prompted uh, by the one that was hit over the long on boundary. Tell me the boss, uh, trying to dig it down, Gangli going across, knowing the uh, fine leg is up, and just easily placing it. Oh, and he's bowled it there again, and he's given it the same treatment, but this time the other side of the short fine leg. This is proving to be very costly. Two virtually gifted boundaries to Ganguly, making full use of it. Short, waiting on it. The square leg having no time to really get round. Surav Ganguly scored a lot of runs straight. 21 and 14 either side of the stumps, the other end. 35. And he's chipped that over mid wicket. That'll be four more. Stunning stuff. 18 runs so far. Tommy the Boss going round the wicket to uh, Ganguly, but the full toss and played it with ease over the mid wicket. So very good over for India and a disastrous one for Sri Lanka. Looks like boundary now. Full toss. He's hit it pretty hard. Has he hit it far enough? No, he hasn't. Good catch. Russell Arnold, the man out there, made good ground around the boundary. Had to judge it properly because of the rope quite close to him. And does so very well indeed. Uh, Surya once again bowling that full toss. Gangula trying to uh, heave it, but Russell Arnold watching it all the way and very well judged. Right down there, the line is not too easy. Very good 85. Takes India up to 279 for four. Robin Singh. Also a big hitter of the ball, but it's very hard just to come in and 
do it from ball one. That's what he's going to have to try to do. He joins Tadeja. He's hit that one-handed for four. Up there by Arnold. And Jada just straight onto the one. Right between mid wicket and long one. It's got the placement perfect. First real blemish in the field. Chamindavas, the man making the error. He's hit it pretty hard, pretty flat. And although he gets his hands to it, it bounces off his hands and over the boundary for six. Chamindavas doing a good fielder. Well, that was hit really hard, to be fair, by the fielder, but uh, he's been down in the confidence in the bowling, so he would have been uh, really. Not concentrating too much. So the Indian innings finishing with a six. Taking up to 296 for four in the 50th over. Well, the innings dominated by the Indian captain, Tendulka. 120 from 141 deliveries. Well supported in the opening partnership by Ramesh. 32 from 35 balls. Dravid took a while, really never really found his feet. And then Ganguly provided just the sort of support that his captain required. 85 from 73 deliveries. Jadeja and Singh just had a little swing at the end of the innings. 296, by far the highest total of the tournament so far. All the Sri Lankan bowlers took just a little bit of stick. Vast seven overs for 59. Soizer again had a wonderful game. He had one over where Tanduka climbed into him. Otherwise, ten overs, one for 50. Pereira struggled. Muralitharin bowled as tightly as the batsman would allow him. Ten overs for 42 and was probably the leading bowler, other than his captain would have liked a wicket or two. Jai Surya, six overs, one for 34. Thursday nights, the NRL's Glamour Event of the Year. Direct from Sydney's Fox Studios, the Dally M Medal. Join an elite league of men as they gather for Rugby League's Night of Nights, honouring the season's most outstanding achievers and awarding this year's Dally M Medal to the NRL's brightest star. The Dally M Medal, 8.30 Thursday night, live on Fox Sports. An old Chinese saying, traveling for 100 miles is more knowledgeable than reading a hundred miles of scrolls. Hello world, I've been waiting for a chance to see your face. Oh, oh hello world, I am ready for a different The next exciting destination, Travellers, weekdays on Discovery Channel.
Well, what a match we have in place for us this afternoon. 50 overs bowled this morning. India making 296 for four with Tenduka 120, a blazing 120. Saurav Ganguly 85 from just 73 balls. Sensational performance. And in those 50 overs, 296 for four. Now that equation now means that India will play in the final if Sri Lanka gets less than 270. Sri Lanka in the final if they get more than 269. Sri Lankans need just to get 270. That's a big ask, really. This outfield is quick, wicket is good. And all they need is, and this is his record. Look at the average, it's only 28.2, but the runs per ball, 5.4. A very important one. 4,826 runs in total. And uh, only notable innings, the 61 at the Premadasa against India, and looking to fire again here. So it's going to be an important start for Sri Lanka. They can't afford to lose two or three early wickets. Jabagal Srinath with the sun beaming down now here. Thunderstorms storms were forecast, but at this stage it doesn't look like that will be the case, and hopefully we can get through these last 50 overs. So the prelim rounds have come down to the last 300 deliveries, and this is the first of them. Srinath to Jayasuriya. Right on target. Jayasuriya up at his toes nicely, gets them away. So he'll be pleased. Off the mark first ball with a comfortable single. And get those butterflies settled down because he knows how important this 50 overs is. Marvinata Patu already has one man of the match award in the series so far. 33.7. Quite sedately he scores at. 3.9 runs per six balls. 200s. And wouldn't he love to add another one to that column? Two slips in place for Atapatu. Very whippy, very wristy on the leg side. Ball is pitched anywhere from middle and off towards the leg stumpy. Just whips away. So he, like most of the players, have had a bit of an up and down series. That very good 71 not out, that match winning 71 not out. That got him the man of the match award at the Previdasa Stadium a few days ago. But book ending those, that 71 is five and another low score. Wide delivery and called wide. So the extras total comes into play already as well. 297 the target to win, 270 the target for Sri Lanka to make the final. And Adapad who joins Jay Suri by getting off the mark in the first over. Woo! Uh, yeah. so Prasad, 122nd to match. 4.6 runs per over. So Prasad to bowl from the pavilion end. This tournament so far, just the three wickets in the three matches. One for 37, hit around a bit by the Australians. None for 35 and two for 29 against Australia. Very good yesterday. Nice bounce, it uh, may have bounced up into his face, I think. Gee, I'm not sure that if I was the batsman, the ball hit me in the face, I'd pick it up and give it back to the mad fast bowler. Let him bend down and pick it up himself. bottom it's right on the wicket and back up again slip and the man at short mid wicket is the extra catching man it's gone past him and a couple of runs as Ganguly does the fielding away down there at backward square leg Nicely placed between the two fieldsmen, Tenduka and Jadeja. This will test his back out. Probably won't do him any harm, actually, to go for a bit of a jog. One of the things when you've got a stiff back is you've got to stand still or lie down, but if you're out in the field, it doesn't do you any harm if you have a gentle chase. He threw the ball quite comfortably. He wasn't under, under any pressure to throw it hard or anything. But he picked it up. No problems bending down and just a pretty relaxed an easy throw. Yeah. Never like to see players get big scores and not filled, and that's not the case with Sasha Tinduka. Loves to be out in the middle of it, and he certainly is and was today. 
Oh, well bowled, beautifully bowled. The perfect length. Pitts. Jashmir went there and stayed there. Well, fortunately for him, went past. Two overs gone. Sri Lanka, 12 with that loss. And that's Jashmir going for six. Going for six, and it's six. What a shot. It brings about his downfall occasionally, but when he really goes for it and goes to hit it towards the boundary and over the boundary, that is a beautiful hit. And he finally gave him some room outside off stump, and Jay Surya said, Thank you very much. Jay Surya quickly latching onto that one. His eyes would have lit up when he saw the length, the room he had, and he went right through with it, powerfully getting under that wall and over and out. The umbrella at the moment. Plenty of blue sky around. Just hopefully it's just a local shower. End of the fifth over. Partnership now worth 22. We're still getting uh, quite steady now. Sri Lanka will be quite pleased if the rain does continue. This game must go on. It's going to be a cracker if it goes right through. And the umpires have made the decision. Coming off. So 22 for none at the moment, five overs have been bowled and uh, the umpires uh, would have uh, passed on the information first and foremost to the captains and uh, of course uh, it's a welcome back to our uh, viewers across India too through Sony uh, television. We, we really have um, some good news here, um, players about to get underway and the adjustment you'll all be interested in is uh, this. 263 in 40 overs to win so it's now been uh, reduced to a 40 over match and they need to score 263 to win that's the first thing that uh, the Sri Lankans will be thinking about yes also Tony there's the fielding restrictions now it applies for 12 overs and each bowler is allowed to bowl just eight overs second there uh, just looked as if Tendulkar at one stage was going to get there for that one and uh, sure that he's still struggling a little bit with his back as he went across there he slowed down quite quickly we, we reckon we have got it totally under control up here <laughs> oh well played he's got it away nicely down a square leg this will go for four yes it's all the way into the fence Jaya Saria again, you daren't bowl short to him. He's the most wonderful player of the pull shot, and that was a controlled pull shot. He knows the fieldsman out there, and uh, he kept it down and also played it quite fine on purpose. Yes, he played it late and uh, rolled his wrist on it. That allowed him to keep the ball away from that man at deep square leg. He split the gap nicely, fine legs up in the circle. There's a man out there in the deep. Despairing drive there from Ganguly. That was in win, so another boundary here to Jay Surya. He's the danger man as far as the Indians are concerned. Down the wicket, oh, he's hit that one straight down the ground, not quite off the middle of the bat though. One bounce and over the fence for four. Well, I said not off the middle of the bat, but he is so strong. The crowd here have come alive. Jaya Saria is starting to cut loose already. Well, he knows that this is the last over till when the fielding restrictions will apply. So he's gone after Prasad here. And this is a very good start to the over. Two boundaries for him. Chipping down the track. And even though Prasad saw him coming and pitched it short, Jaya Surya was still able to get enough bat on it and hammer it down the ground. So this makes for some interesting cricket here. What a player. I love watching him. It always happens when he's batting. And again, whacked down the square leg. Oh, it's gone through him. It 
That's a fumble. The pressure's on the Indians. Gunguli down there making a real mess of that one. This Jaya Saria really is. He's all about fun. Yes, I think Ganguly was surprised at how quickly the ball came to him. This was again firmly struck. This time in front of square. The ball skidded after pitching. And Ganguly was a little slow in coming down. Hit his knee and then rolled over the boundary line. So three out of three for Jayasurya here. 12 runs in this over already. And the Sri Lankan captain has changed gears here. He certainly has. Tendulkar and Kumbli homing in on their fast bowler Prasad and uh, suggesting to him it might be a good idea to pitch it up. I'm not sure what you do to this bloke when he's going. Pitch it up and he's just as likely to hit it. That's better. Just short of a length to place the bowl. Still played away comfortably on the offside. Well, thank you guys. well Prasad's point of view, he'll be relieved that Jay Surya is off the strike now. Well, down the wicket he goes, that's in the air, over the top of the fine leg, Fieldsman. One bounce to four, Jaya Saria knows that the man is up at fine leg and got underneath that and smashed it away for four. Way up in the air it was, just having a little look down there. Jaya Saria saying, oh, don't worry, I knew there was no one there. That's right, he was dancing down the track and Prasad banged it in short. Jaya Surya still getting enough pat on it more of the top edge here there's no fine leg fine legs up so another boundary for Jay Surya it's important now that Prasad keeps his cool he cannot afford to be rattled that's the way Jay Surya plays and Tendulkar doing the right thing by going up to Prasad and just calming him down a bit just pushed away for one now just uh, well that brings up the 50 partnership now then, have a look at some of these shots that Jaya Saria has played so far. He's in great form, I can tell you that. This is uh, Sri Lanka's hero, whacked the deep square leg, a magnificent shot for four. That went screaming away down towards the boundary. Then this one, down the wicket he went, straight over the top. A couple of bounces and over the fence for four on that occasion. And then this one, in he came again, underneath it, whacked it away. Listen to that ball, crack off the bat, misfielded down there by Ganguly and another four. Boy, have we seen some action here. Jaya Saria went on fire. There's something else to watch. Slower ball and through the covers for four. Smashed it. He picked it up well. It's not easy to pick up that slower ball. Prasad bowls it pretty well. Jaya Saria adjusted and whacked it through the cover. Yet another boundary. Well, he gave Prasad the feeling that he might be chipping down the track again here. It was a slight initial movement. Prasad bowled the slower delivery, Jai Surya adjusted and spanked it through the offside. He's dealing in boundaries at the moment. Venkatesh Prasad is the man he's decided to go after. Huh? 40 runs of just 30 balls. The 1-6 of Srinath, all five boundaries of Venkatesh Prasad. In the air, over the top again, take that, another four. Jaya Saria is really playing beautifully today. That was a controlled lofted drive. Have a look at him. The youngsters here are out of their seats. The old boys too are jumping up and down. He does bring the whole of Sri Lanka alive, does son of Jaya Saria. When he gets going, the whole of Sri Lanka stands to attention. Well, he got the wet on that occasion. He got an, the opportunity to free his arms. And when he's in this kind of mood, can be very, very destructive. Six fours and a six so far. Jaya Saria is not ready. Prasad is saying, give me a break. This is pretty tough. He says, hurry up. And he's got a point there. Jaya Saria does fiddle around quite a lot. He's got to try and make sure he's ready for the bowler. It's tough enough for the bowler's bowling team, but this is what he does. And he keeps fiddling around here like this. The bowler comes in. Now Tendulkar is going to go and have a chat to the umpire and say, listen, the least he can do is get ready. I think the Indians, Ravi, are getting a little frustrated here. I think it's very important that Prasad keeps his cool. If he doesn't get a wicket with this delivery, 
I get the feeling Tendulkar should look for a bowling change because he's beginning to lose the plot here. Short, late cut, down to third man, just one. And uh, just a few words there between Jaya Saria and, uh, and Prasad. But good to see it ended up in a smile. And that's what matters. 59 for none. So they're inviting um, one over the onside. Yeah, that's the mid-on fieldsman. And uh, inviting a bit of a hit over the top of his head. Right, Chopra to Jaya Saria. Cuts away. Oh, and another misfield. Oh, this is bad news. India, I've got to say... Have not been that good in the field today. It might just be a little bit damp out of there, but this should have been stopped. Well, this is a sloppy effort. Anil Kumble is the culprit here. It's 50 for Jay Surya. He got a bad bounce there. The ball spun away from him. But when that shot was being played, I'm sure Kumble should have been looking to cover that. It put pressure, it's put pressure on the bowler straight away. Chopra has gone for a boundary of his first delivery. In fact, Jay Surya is on 49. 33 balls to reach 49. That's 50. That's 50. Beautifully played. So easy. Didn't try and smash it out of the ground. Now he's acknowledging the crowd. Just a little touch of the head of his hat there and a little glance up upstairs as well. That's what an innings under pressure. 50 out of 64. The captain's leading the charge here. Chopra's not happy there. Chopra's having a little chat to, uh, to Jaya Saria. I think Jaya Saria said something about uh, that's probably a wide. <laughs> Chopra said, you just carry on with your batting and let the umpire decide whether it's wide or not. So he's just getting between them there and saying, settle down, guys. That one pushed away on the offside. That one's... Uh, Brought the end of the over at 66 for that loss. And the umpire there, uh, Jadeja, going over to him now and saying, "Listen, uh, we've had enough of." Yeah, it's all happening out there. I reckon Janaysha wants to be a little careful here. There's a full-on argument going on there at the moment. <laughs> Janaysha, they're arguing with smiles on their faces. It's an old strategy. Oh, it's all happening, I can tell you. Uh, out there at the moment, Janaysha and the Indians not happy with the umpire. And the reason for it was basic because uh, what happened was that uh, we saw Jaya Saria perhaps suggesting to the umpire that it was a wide ball down the leg side. And uh, straight away Chopra responded and said, you just bat, leave the umpiring to the umpire. And uh, that created a, a really uh, a big argument between the umpire and all the players. To give you an idea at home what's actually required by Sri Lanka, they need to score around about 5.7 in order to get to the 222 which gets them to the final he's put him down at slip now that uh, will be very disappointing because Kumble and Tendulkar between them have put a slip in in this situation and it's gone a biggie well he pushed out it hard here went fairly sharp Ganguly's got long to his right Probably should have grabbed it. He had a good look at this one. A good slipper would have caught this. He's pushed at it hard. Got a good view of that there, but couldn't hang on to it. Well, he's got that past the infield. They'll be looking for two here. This will be an easy two. Misfield. There was one in it. I think he was two. Jasriya said, "No, no, no, no." 
and then the fielder took his eye off the ball and sure enough two more runs Coming in like lightning, trying to pick it up one-handed, and there was always, as Jeff Thompson said, simple single there. So that wasn't necessary. We can now officially tell you for the moment. This is this is the latest official set up. 232 to reach the final. 271 to win the game in 42 overs. It's nicely played, cleverly played. It will only be two in it. 13 gone, 79 for no wicket. He's got that. I don't know whether that was actually a chance, but uh, it's four runs, and that's all that matters for Sri Lanka. Now this is a genuine edge here, again, beats the keeper and goes left to Ganguly, they're very hard, they're very awkward ones, that's a keeper's catch, but you can't do much about that, if it goes wide you can only put your gloves there and hope that it goes in them, and beats Ganguly as well. So everything going in favour of Sri Lanka at the moment, you make your own luck. That'll be one more. Bear in mind, too, that uh, India have taken the gamble of playing Raul, Dr Raul Dravid in the role of wicketkeeper, and he's not a regular wicketkeeper. Well, that's exactly what happens. You put a part-timer in, and you've got to win big matches. Those are the sort of things you've got to take to s turn the uh, tide. Two more here. A very easy two there. These two batsmen out here really coasting at the moment. Jai Surya, 14 runs off 12 balls from Shrinath, 31 from 20 from Prasad, 13 from 8. So he's ahead of it all the way along, other than Singh at the moment. And that'll put him ahead of that. Four more. Well, Prasad. There's the man behind square, he's probably about 45 degrees. Jairusia, uh, Saria knew, knew this and just takes it around finally, always four. And these boundaries just coming a bit too easily here. Just these loose deliveries from the Indians, making it easy work for the captain at the moment. into the outfield there's no one out there so whether the ball will get to the rope or not is debatable it's come down almost like a, a chip shot at golf and it's landed and even almost a little bit of backswing so three more to Atupatu oh, this is a good shot from Atupatu there's nobody out there he knows it doesn't matter he's only got to get a good bit of bat on it and probably go for four if he does and he knows there's a couple of runs in it field in close that's good taking there. Watch it. That brings up the 100 partnership. And a beautiful stroke as well. Well, that's 103 now. This time he hits it wider, Sachin Tendulka, we saw Marvin Adipadu hit a couple of, in the previous over of Gumble straighter. So Sachin moved a bit straighter, so this time he hit it wider, dissected the fielders in the deep too as well, and that's how it's all happened. 95 deliveries, sensational opening start here for Sri Lanka, chasing this Indian total. So that's what they need, still tough ask for Sri Lanka. Down the pitch he goes, a swing and a may edge that he has. So what a breakthrough. Robin Singh, the general medium pace of Robin Singh. Jaya Surya running down the pitch, trying to smash it across the line. There was no need for him to do that. He was in such scintillating form by playing 
is normal cricket. And suddenly, Jay Syria is out, caught behind. And Robin Singh is later. Jay Syria didn't even wait for the umpire's decision. He just walked from the ground. We'll get the applause. Just 37 scoring shots. And as the umpires call for drinks, Sri Lanka chasing 232 to make the final. Uh, 105 for one. So the momentum that was started with Jayasuri is going to be continued with Sri Lanka because Ramesh Kalawirana has been sent to the wicket at number three. The fall of Jayasuri is wicket. Caught behind by Roald Ravidoff, Robin Singh for 71. And a chance to run out of your hits. Oh, very close. And a bit of a heart flutter for Kalawirana, no doubt. And Courtney Bowl chance, no, oh, just short. To see the reverse angle, oh, that Daniel Kumble is a very good fielding off his own bowler. Kind of restless. He doesn't like to be tied down. He wants to get on with it just on the half volley. Sweep shot, and Kelly Rana plays that beautifully. On that occasion, he's done it to perfection. He's a very good sweeper of the ball. And what a way to end the over. It was a good over. And in the end, it took six runs from it. 118 for one. Freeman on the offside, saving one. One at mid-wicket. The men out are at point, third man, backward square leg, mid-wicket hand, long on. So a gap over the mid-off area where Kettlewood Runner can hit the ball. And that's what he tried to do, but Singh gets the second man out. A similar dismissal in the sense that both batsmen, Jay Surya and now Kalawadarana, running down the pit to the medium pace of Singh and trying to build him somewhere where he shouldn't. And two wickets have fallen in four overs. Kalawadarana out for seven. Really needless on that occasion. Really looking to uh, get on with it. It's almost looking as if he wanted to get out. Really, uh, the shot selection will be very poor. Probably sent out there to try and... Uh, Keep the tempo going, but all he's done is been bowled by Singh for seven, Sri Lanka 119 for two. Monday on Fox Sports 5:30, catch up with all the weekend's Premier League highlights. Right after the news hour, join Mike Gibson in the back page panel, and at eight o'clock, Cameron Williams presents NRL scoreboard. All I've done. Slopes. Make sure you're up to date with the latest conditions from your favourite resort. The Snow Report, Thursday to Sunday at 4.30 and 7 on Fox Sports. This Friday morning on Fox Sports. Join the world's finest golfing heroes as they take to the greens at the Northview Golf and Country Club Canada for the US PGA's Air Canada Championships. Competing for over two and a half million dollars in prize money. Live and exclusive, Air Canada Championships starts Friday morning at 5, Fox Sports. Jay Woodner coming to the crease, 28th match, couple of 50s and 200s. So what can he do now? Very important period of the game. 232 is the target for victory. That is victory to make the final. And currently 119 for two. Two men out, Jay Asuria and Kala Widarana. And lucky to get away with it. Bottom edge over the stumps. So luck for Jay Wardner to get off the mark. Oh, that's beautifully played, inside out and right into the gap. That's a very, very good shot. A lovely lofted uh, drive through the offside field by Adaparu. It's 137 for two.
Well, Robin Singh to continue. Singh's bowled six overs so far. Bowled really well. Two for 21. Just bowling a little, well, slow, medium paced off cutters. Just trying not to get too much bounce. Trying to just zot them in there to their pads. Bowled pretty accurate at the moment. Yes, and uh, that's the one place they can get it away. Back for the next run. Second run there. That's good running. The Indians not happy that uh, these twos are being conceded, but they've been conceded because of very aggressive running by the Sri Lankans. That time it was Mahela Jaiwadana. He uh, went sprinting back to the other end. Well, that's what will happen if he doesn't get the length right. That's nearly a half volley. They can pick that up and they'll drop kick that for four. Just one little bit further. Well, this one he gets fine. Fielder's going to have to really scoot here. And he can't cover that. That's a great shot. Yeah, Topra down there. That was a good shot, wasn't it? He, he loves to play the ball, whip the ball around from around about the off stump. It's a sign of a good player, confident player. He's got a lovely touch. Well, he just knows. He's been watching from the other end that uh, Robin Singh's been bowling these off cutters into the leg. So he thought, well, I'll just get across here. I'm not going to get out. There'll be W. I'll just get it fine. And the man was around a bit too square. Chopra. Slightly more positive shot that time. Joe Wardenow getting down the pitch to it, forcing it away on the onside. There's no mid on in there, so he knows he's got to run. He doesn't mind um, getting down the wicket and being relatively aggressi aggressive, Joe Wardenow. Nor does Marvin Adaparu. That is well played too. Just uh, closing the face with the spin. Good running by Joe Wardenow again. Back for the second. And that brings up the 150. This one's chipped away. This could be out. No, just wide of the fieldsman. One bounce. Oh, good shot. Straight down the ground. Four. Lovely shot. Right off the meat of the bat. Jai Wadhanam is beginning to unleash some lovely drives now. We've seen him do it before. Well, this one was a half volley. Prasad's just not having a day at the moment. Bowled well yesterday, bowled well the previous days too. That is just a rank half volley, and he smashed that back pass. He'd be stuck his hand out, but I think he was about 10 metres too late. Straight back pass. There's not much you can do about that, but it was a half volley. Jay Wilder on strike. Well, down the wicket. What a beautiful shot all the way. Straight over the top. It's a beauty. Magnificent straight hit. Anil Kumbli has disappeared straight over the top for six. He's a good cricketer, this youngster. Well, beautiful use of his feet here. And he doesn't even try to overhit this. He just hits. It's with the breeze, I may add, to as well, which is very sensible from this young bloke. And there it goes. Disappears straight back over his head. And that's also gone a fair way. Back to the billboards there. And that's brought up the 50 partnership as well. for Adapadu. He'll come back for the second here. So the second 50 for him in this Ivor Cup. And rightly so, the applause from the balcony of the Sri Lankan side. He's already won one man of the match award. He may not win the man of the match today, but he will have had a very big hand should Sri Lanka get up and win this match. Sixth over, very good figures again today. From an economical point of view, none for 21. That's in the air and it's cleared mid off. <laughs> Jay Wardena quite prepared to take the risks. Still good captaincy by Tendulkar. He's encouraging the player to take the risk and go over the top against a quality opening bowler so on this occasion Joe Wardena has done that and has succeeded some days you win some days you lose there again he does it and this time he could hold out in the deep and he's been taken 
He was looking to try and hit over extra cover at Padu. Ganguly was placed exactly in that position. And unfortunately for Atapadu, he couldn't clear the fielder. So Kumle is struck here. And the partnership has been broken. Excellent catch by Ganguly running around the band line along the rope. And excellent catch overhead. He had a quick look at the rope to see what it was. So Atapadu departs. He opened the batting and played very well for his 55. So as drinks come on for the last time, Sri Lanka is 193 for three. So Chamara Silva is the new batsman out there for the Sri Lankans. For a 50 on debut against the Australians. Another couple of runs there for Jay Bagana. Innings coming at a good time for the Sri Lankans once the skipper got them off to a good start. And that should be it. He needed some runs under his belt. He's reached 50 here and in good time. And well played by the youngster because he came in after Kalawudarana was dismissed, trying to smash the ball out of the park into Colombo Harbour. And he was able to keep the run rate at better than a run of ball by being busy. That's up in the air. Prasad coming underneath it and he's taken it. So the pressure showing on Chamra Silva there, trying to break free, getting the top edge. And the Indians have sneaked in here by picking up another wicket. Well, the game's not over yet. We've been saying that for a while. And if Sri Lanka continue to be giving their wickets away, then India's going to stay in with a chance. So, a good catch by Prasad running around a long way. So, we've had seen two good outfield catches on that side of the ground. So, he's out for five. That's the end of the 36th over. It's 205 for four. Upul Chandana now comes in to join Maila Jaiwardhane. Played well in the last game against the Australians. Kumble will continue. And with just six overs remaining to continue in the commentary box now, Tony Gregg and Salia Ahangama. Thanks a lot, yes, uh, for the benefit of our Indian viewers. That's the uh, sweep shot again, hit high in the air and uh, the catch comfortably taken. So, uh, well, 205 now for four, four wickets down, and Kumbli is going to continue, oh and uh, that's out as well, he's, uh, he's got him as well, now that's a, that really is uh, a pretty ordinary shot, trying to smash that one away on the onside, well first ball, Rupul <laughs> Chandana trying to get that one away on the onside. They couldn't get themselves into trouble from here, could they, the Sri Lankans? This is a really silly shot right across the line. First ball, and it's gone high up in the air. Catch taken at backward point. No trouble at all. That looks like Chopra that's come in there and taken that one. So, Chandana out for a duck. First ball, and uh, I don't think he can believe it. He's wandering off the ground. The score, 205 for five. Well, Russell Arnold is the new batsman, and um, well, I don't think he expected to come out uh, and uh, in a situation like this. First ball, Chopra, try to whip a, a delivery, a perfectly good delivery, away towards mid-wicket. Got a front edge, and it just lobbed up in the air. Now, Jai Wyden has gone to speak to him straight away and said, Now, look, just uh, don't do anything silly here. We've got to take this one through ourselves. They've got to get 232, the uh, Sri Lankans, to ensure a place in the final. Short delivery, nicely played, beautifully played. In fact, it's running away down towards the boundary. It's got there. Yes, that's four. Now that's the way to play them. Didn't try and hit it too hard. It was a short delivery, not a good one. And Jai Wadhana, lovely timing, just helped it on its way to the boundary. So really waited on that one. And just placed it beautifully. He just waited. Didn't didn't try to really smash it. Big effort there. Did get there, but couldn't control the ball. 
All right, to uh, Srinath, a good effort, but he was on the uh, line. And it's four. Yeah, that was bouncing all over the place. Went up his back onto his head, and uh, well, it was four. So on a long strike, Chopra continuing. And there goes that sweep shot again. This time he's got it away square. That's gone to the fence for four. That'll relieve the pressure a little bit. Lovely sweep shot. He plays that so well. The Indian should realize that. And really placing that beautifully, really getting down on that knee. And picking his spot right down to the boundary. He's played it extremely well, rolling the wrist right over on the impact. There's the sweep again, he smashed it for four, boy, can Russell Arnold sweep, he can sweep, he swept them to smithereens here today, he's played them fine, he's played them square, and it's a look of, uh, well, it's a mystified look on the face of Chopra. A look of despair from uh, Chopra. Arnold waited on that one, and really whipped that down to the uh, square boundary. The point uh, moved out to the uh, fine region, but Arnold goes right on square. So I'm not sure he shouldn't go around the wicket because uh, if he's around the wicket and pitches it around about off stump and he's got a man in just behind square as well as two back, he's got a chance. Now rest assured, this guy's not going to stop sweeping. Now, they're really in business. The uh, Sri Lankans only need six more runs to get themselves through the final. There it goes again, little fine one that time, he's playing beautifully, will he come back for the second? No, he says. So it's over to Joe Wadden, no it's not, it's the end of the over, so uh, Russell Arnold keeps the strike, it's 227 for five. So played away on the onside, they'll get one, they'll come back for two, will they? No, they settle for one. Kemi Smith has uh, been furiously making notes. There he is. Uh, you can see that uh, he's just glancing around there. He's, uh, he's had his pad and pencil there, and uh, he's been making uh, a lot of notes. There have been a few uh, little incidents on the ground. We understand there's been one off the ground as well. I wouldn't want to, uh, to jump to any conclusions, but I think it may have had something to do with the OBW decision, which was turned down when uh, Tendulkar probably have been given out so one to get now don't let's uh, lose the plot here one to get 17 balls to go straight back to the bowler 16 balls to get one to ensure a place in the final then can they win the match I don't know I think they're leaving it a bit late now so what's going to happen is it looks as if the uh, Sri Lankans could end up losing this match but still getting through to the final so they need one run to get to the final. They're losing some light here as well. Oh, well bowled. Oh, they're going to get the run. That's it. Yes, I think everyone knows that uh, that's the run they needed. Now, I'm not too sure if it rains from here. Can this, uh, can this score change? <laughs> I don't think so. So, the final of the Iowa Cup is now going to be played between Sri Lanka and Australia. I think that's what we have established. There it is, on the 31st of August 1999, the final of the Iowa Cup, Sri Lanka versus Australia at the Premier Dasa Stadium. It's a day-night game, folks. Now then, let's get back to this one. Can they, can they win it? Right up in the block. Oh, beautifully driven, straight down the ground, four. Wonderful shot from Jai Wadana, an attempt at a Yorker, and he smashed it for four, 37 for five. Right, now then. Well, that's gone up in the air, this is going to be out unfortunately, yes it's gone straight up in the air, caught it backward point. So uh, Russell Arnold has come out, he's played very very well actually. And uh, unfortunately, in his efforts to try and make that 34 of the last two overs, he's tried to pull it away and got a top edge. Once again, looking at that on, trying to play right across to the leg side, but uh, getting a top edge and a comfortable catch. And first wicket for Prasad. Barcelona down to 19, Sri Lanka 238 to 6.
So Suresh Pereira is um, out in the centre now. He's uh, got a, a very <laughs> difficult job ahead of him. I suppose uh, he'll be trying to give it to Joe Wildener as much as possible. He's on 62 of 61 balls, five fours and a six. That's in the air, and this will be out as well. It's gone straight up in the air and taken it mid off. And so, unfortunately, that's the end of Jai Wardener. But, uh, well, I shouldn't say unfortunately. He played a gem of an innings. Jai Wardener is a very talented young player. He's come out here today and uh, played a superb innings. He's gone for it. And right at the end of the game here, trying to win the match, he's trying to hit it over the top. And unfortunately for him, that is the end of that. Chopra taking the catch and uh, Prasad picking up uh, a wicket at last. So Mahila Jawadana, 62. He'll get a big cheer when he goes off the ground. 238 for 7. So uh, the bowler here, Prasad, is on a hat-trick. He's uh, got 2 for 58. And just prior to that, that first wicket, first of the two, he was no wicket for 58 or off, uh, off 8. So now it's gone to 2 for 58. Jamin DeVos is the new batsman. He's going down the non-strikers in. Taking. Oh, he's got him, he's out, run out. Well, well I think Shiresh said yes, and uh, Chaminda started to come, and unfortunately, Chaminda Vice has been run out without facing a ball. That's a dreadful feeling. Yes, this is unfortunate from Sri Lanka's point of view. Just watch this, he calls yes, starts to come, and then says no. Chaminda Vice is stranded, and in comes the underarm from Jadeja, hits one stump, that's the end of that. So Chamin Devos, out run out at the non-striker's end without facing a ball. That's very unfortunate. Sri Lanka, 238 for eight. With Thayam Urli Diren wandering out of the centre there. 119 matches he's played. Not the greatest batsman of all time, but uh, well, he's always got a smile on his face. That's the main thing. And of course, Zoysa comes in after him. 32 of six balls, two wickets in hand, and uh, they're both new batsmen, so no chance of getting a win here. But the news is that Sri Lanka are through to the final. Srinath uh, back for the second. In comes the throw, comfortably home. It's very dull out there at the moment, uh, and I think Murali's decided he's going to stay at the non-strikers end. Blasted away on the onside, and uh, they're going through for a single. Yeah, that's run out. That's out as well. Oh, this is absolute suicidal stuff. So uh, that's uh, Shiresh, and uh, it's it's a bit of a pity actually to see this game ending like this. This is uh, that's bad running. There's no need for it. There's no way they can win this. So unfortunate. Uh, unfortunately, these guys are slitting themselves down a little bit. Have a look at this. Just watch this. It's really hits it hard, right straight to the fielder. No requirement of a run as well really kept the strike for the next three deliveries just goes and he's uh, way out really coming to a very tame end really not too good cricket Suresh Pera 4 Sri Lanka 204 3 for 9 One's hit way over the top by Murali Diren. It'll bounce away down to the boundary for four. So he's got that one off the middle of the bat. And uh, so just one ball to go now. And we're really getting milling that one well. Right over the uh, long off, two bounces to the boundary. That's the last delivery, hit up way in the air on the offside, and that's the end of the innings. So Murali touches down, and uh, India have won this match, although the news of the day is that the Sri Lankans have played well enough to get themselves through to the final. Yes, and there we are, the uh, Sri Lankan lineup. Uh, Jaya Saria playing brilliantly for 71. Atapadu played well too for 55. And uh, then Jai Wadhana played a cameo winning 62 off uh, 62 balls. It's a runner ball, and then Russell Arnold, 19 or 14 balls 247 for nine it wasn't quite enough for Sri Lanka to win the match but uh, they did get enough they needed to get 232 to get themselves through to the final
The partnerships uh, in uh, this particular innings, well, there they are. The uh, first wicket partnership of 105 was a joy to watch. Jaya Saria and Atapatu played superbly. And then Atapatu and Jai Wadhana put together 74 of 76 balls, and that too was good to watch. As indeed was the 33 that uh, Jai Wadhana put together with Arnold. As far as the bowlers were concerned, well, I, I suspect that the Indians would be a little disappointed today with their performance in the field. No wicket for 40 for Srinath and uh, Prasad there, 2 for 59, having been, well, no wicket for 50 odd at one stage, and the rest of them chipping in there with ones and twos apiece. Not a great performance in the field today by the Indians. So the result of this match, well, the Indians won it. They won it quite comprehensively by 23 runs. However, the news from Colombo is that uh, they only needed 232, and uh, they did that to get through to the final.